Welcome to the MetaWare training. This is MDB session 2, where we'll cover how to organize the debugger windows. In this session, we'll show you how to move, resize, and organize the various debugger windows that you interact with during a debugging session. After you've configured the debugger and started the session, the main debugger window will open with the default window layout. You will see a source window showing your source code, which is usually stopped at main when you first open the debugger. On the left, you can see the local variables window and below it the call stack window. The debug console, which shows the results of most debugger commands, is at the bottom and shares a frame with the breakpoints and watchpoint windows. You can add different windows to your display by clicking on the display menu item. Subsequent training modules will focus on how to use each of these windows and their function. This current module is intended to show you how to configure the window layout so you can work comfortably. Firstly, you can change the sizes of any of the existing frames simply by dragging. When you open a new window from the display menu, the debugger will insert it within one of the frames. But you can drag it to wherever you prefer. Here, I'll show you how to drag it to a new frame and split the frame in two by moving to the right until the blue box appears. Release the mouse, and now you can see that this frame is now split in two, showing both the source and the register window. You can also split the frame by dragging up and down instead. Or we can put the register window above the source code window as follows. If screen space is limited, you can tab the windows by dragging as follows. Then you can click on the tabs to toggle between the different windows. You can also move individual tabs by dragging and dropping it into a new frame. Using the techniques we've just learned, we can create a sample window layout that includes the source window, a disassembly window next to the source window, a register window below, as well as the debug console, a call stack, and local variables. The window layouts that you create are saved by default in the current directory when you exit the debugger in a subdirectory called .sc.project. Thus, the window layout is preserved for subsequent debug sessions when invoked from the same directory. However, if you want to save the layout for use elsewhere, you can do that from the Windows menu item. You can save the current window layout to a file and then later reopen the window layout in another debug session. Note that you can also restore the default layout back to the original settings. The debugger techniques discussed in this presentation are covered in detail in the DesignWare MetaWare Debugger User's Guide for ARC supplied with the MetaWare toolset. In particular, please see section 2.3 using the GUI.